Hello collectors! We all visit price charting and use its price checking tool often. You know, daily, hourly, minutely. But have you ever used the average price index tool for various platforms? You don't know what that is? It's exactly as it sounds. A chart which tracks the average sold price for all games on a platform. An interesting trend has emerged over the last year and a half. Here's the chart for SNES. Do you see it? Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation 1, N64, Game Boy, and yes, to some extent the NES have all started to level off, if not drop off somewhat. For brevity's sake, the same leveling off or decline has been happening for other 80s and 90s platforms. Though I can't say this is true for all since price charting has an index the Turbo Graphics, Master System, or Jaguar, among others, for some reason. The current average is possibly being bolstered by higher value titles, though even they have leveled off or even dropped significantly. You can see this trend happening on an individual basis with some high value NES titles like Little Samson, DuckTales 2, Mega Man 5. There's been a major drop in price or they're holding steady at some invisible asymptote. Even a common title like Super Mario Bros. 3 has dropped half its price in the last year. Now I'm not Nostradamus, but it's easy to see that a large slump and devaluation of the retro game market is close. Yes, soon you can get that cheap game in $20 wolf's clothing for 5 bucks again. However, this could be a brief respite of the unending price hikes we've seen in the last 10 years before climbing again. It has happened before on certain platforms. And don't take that holiday season or early February-March period for granted either. We'll just have to wait and see. And of course, play the game!